Check, check. We are going to get rid of the countdown because we are going to get started. It is 8 o'clock p.m. here on the West Coast. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Jason PDSI is in here. Yes, rip. Uh, rest in peace, Judo Gene LaBelle. Mark Ferguson is here. Michael Bratta is here. Derek Bauman is here. Welcome, everybody. We've got a great night of action uh, for Hollywood Elite Wrestling. We've got three big fans' choice matches. These are the matches that you voted on. That you wanted to see. Well, you didn't vote on these matches specifically. You voted on the wrestlers. And then the top vote getters in each category uh, got put against each other. And we have a real interesting match to start things off. Uh, this, if you would have asked me, uh, these are the two teams that would get the uh, most votes. I don't think uh, I don't think I would have chosen... Uh, these two. Yet here we are. Uh, before we get going, we do want to give a special shout out to all our Patreon patrons who help make uh, these videos on this channel possible. Huge shout out to all the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. And a special shout out to all our patron producers, Dorothy Pachoco, Eve Cunning, Kathy Crawford, Tony Urbano, David Akers, and Vicky Sebring. Well, headed down to the ringside, you can see that our opening match is the fabulous ones uh versus the bolsheviks uh the bolsheviks actually got the most votes out of all the tag teams which i thought was uh in in, in interesting uh jason asking grant do you have a set roster for hollywood elite wrestling the roster is every legends card every color legends card that is the roster um, so this fed is this fed. I strictly play online. I do not play this offline at all. Uh, it's strictly an online fed and, uh, all, the roster is every legend, every single legend. Um, so there you go. All right. We're going to get started here because uh, we don't want this to go too late and we have two tag team matches, uh, here tonight. So we're going to have Steve Kern start with Nikolai Volkov. We're going to roll for initiative. We're going to ring the bell and it looks like Steve Kern is going to start things off here with a snap mare against Nikolai Volkov, and Volkov's going to reverse it on level one, and a big boot to the face, but it's an agility move, and Steve Kern has that agility, and hits a uh, shoulder breaker, but will be choice D. Let's see, his power is a three. He's not going to go for that. He will go for the agility. This will work on an 11 or less. Uh, the roll, a five, so it does work. Volkov is hurt. He's going to try and tag out to Boris Zukov. Is able to do it. Zukov comes in on level one with an arm ringer against Kern. And Kern is hurt. Ooh, that arm ringer really took a lot out of him. And there's a double team in corner. Now Volkov is now the legal man in Steve Kern. Rolling on level three, only a hurt two. Volkov in charge, a running stomp. On Steve Kern, only a hurt two. Nikolai Volkov trying again. Tackling corner, but Steve Kern rolls out of the way, moves out of the way. Will roll on level two offense with a wrenching toe hold on Nikolai Volkov. Hurt two. Going to tag in Stan Lane, who comes in on level two with a headlock takeover on Nikolai Volkov. Volkov uh, shoves him off and uh, hits a hammer to the back. Uh, he does have the power, so that will work. It's a level two move. And he, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see what these stats are. Bold instructions are for singles matches. So uh, so it's only a hurt two there. 
uh, on Volkov. Uh, tackle in corner again. He tries. Stan Lane is going to move right out of the way and hit a gut wrench suplex on Nikolai Volkov. And he is down. And Volkov is going to bail out of the ring. And he crawls helplessly back in. Lane rolls on level three offense and rolls a choice G. So going to do a uh, death jump here. And climbs up to the top. Uh, blasts him with a flying clothesline. And will roll on level 3 offense. And there's the double DDT. So Steve Kern, now the legal man in. It's a plus 2 move. Boris Zukov going to roll on the pin save chart. Let's see what it says. He is stopped. And uh, so we're going to roll the pin here. The, the target is going to be 5. The roll is an 8. One fatigue token for Nikolai Volkov. Kern, now the legal man. And hits a choice H. And he is going to actually roll the agility move because that'll work on a 10 or less. Ooh, 12. Volkov able to power out of that. Locks in the bear hug on Steve Kern. And they are going to try a switch. Uh, roll two dice on rolls of two or five. The fabs switch places. Uh, no, it is not. Uh, this uh, let me see. Ba, 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 ba. This can occur once per match. So uh, it's not going to be a switch. He is still down. Volkov going to roll down here. Death jump. Uh, he is not going to try a death jump because Steve Kern's got an A. Uh, choice B. Uh, he will throw Steve Kern into the turnbuckle. Kern goes into the turnbuckle and... Uh, big special move. Both wrestlers go down. The better turnbuckle rating. That's going to be Volkov. Uh, Volkov's going to tag out to Zukov. And Zukov will roll on level three. Hit a clothesline on Steve Kern. Hurt two. Boris Zukov follows it up with double team and corner. So Volkov back in. Kern rolling on level three. He is down. Volkov with a shoulder tackle. Not as powerful a move as he would have liked. Kern going to try and tag out to Lane. Not able to do it. Volkov rolls on level two offense. Uh, tackle and corner again. Steve Kern moves out of the way. He will roll a shoulder breaker choice D. And not going to do the power move. Going to try for the agility move. Uh, that'll work on an 11 or less. Gets it. Volkov in trouble. Uh, but no, he's not. Uh, he reverses it on level one with a big headbutt on Kern. Kern is hurt. Going to try and tag out to Lane. Can he do it? No, he can't. Volkov going to tag in Zukov on level two. There's the Soviet slam on Steve Kern. Kern desperately trying to get to the corner. And... Uh, Let's see. Uh, double team in corner. Volkov back in. Steve Kern hurt too. Volkov rolling on level two. Knee to the gut on Steve Kern. Steve Kern reverses it. Can he hit a move here into the ropes? Throws Volkov into the ropes. Uh, puts you down with a running back elbow. Rolls on level two offense. He's going to tag out to Stan Lane, who will roll on level two and throw Volkov into the ropes again. And uh, uh, again, roll on level two offense with a gut wrench suplex on Volkov. Down three. Volkov is going to try and leave the ring again. Crawls helplessly back in. Can stay in lane. There's the double DDT. All right. Boris Zukov going to try a pin save again. This is their last pin save. Oh, no. A wild brawl involving all the wrestlers at one to your pin rating. So Volkov now has two. The referee may disqualify both teams. Uh, roll a four for double disqualification. So let's roll here. Uh, no, it's not a double disqualification. Uh, so we roll one die here, and the roll is a three. So that means the opponents win on the brawl. So Steve Kern, now the legal man in the ring, going to roll on level three with an eye rake to the boot. Two, Volkov able to reverse it. He's going to be looking for a tag here. Headlock and punch against Steve Kern, but Kern reverses it just a little too quick. Uh, stomach claw, but it's a power move. So Volkov will reverse that. And, oh, tries a tackle in corner, but Kern reverses that. And into the turnbuckle, he tosses Nikolai Volkov. And Volkov lifts a knee and will roll on level two offense. Knee to the gut two on Steve Kern. And Steve Kern reverses that. What is happening? Tries a kick to the stomach. Doesn't work. 
Vo- oh, wait. Uh, ignore that. Ignore that. Volkov uh, takes over on level two. Locks in the Russian bear hug on Steve Kern. Only a hurt two. Going to tag in Boris Zukov with a punch to the jaw on Steve Kern. Kern going to try and tag out to Lane. Not able to do it. Boris Zukov rolls on level two offense. Another punch to the jaw on Steve Kern. Steve Kern, though, ducks. Ignore this next roll. Uh, cause I hit the wrong thing. Monkey flip two on Boris Zukov. Hurt two. Zukov desperately trying to make the tag. Not able to do it. Steve Kern rolls on level two offense. Another monkey flip on Boris Zukov. And, uh, he's going to try and tag out again. He is able to do it. Volkov comes in on level one. What a match this has turned out to be. Uh, tosses Steve Kern into the ropes. Drops down. Goes into the chart. Uh, goes into the ropes again. And comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Rolls on level two offense. Uh, going to toss... Volkov into the turnbuckle. The wrestler with the better turnbuckle rating. That's going to be Volkov. He's going to roll on level three offense, and he is going to throw Steve Kern out of the ring. Uh, a wild brawler up the wrestler with the better ring rating. That's going to actually be Kern. Kern's going to roll on level three offense. Hits the hot shot on Volkov. Hurt two. He's going to tag in Stan Lane, who rolls on level two uh, with a... Uh, boot ram two. So Steve Kern is now the legal man back in the ring. Uh, Volkov rolls on level two. Steve Kern rolling on level two offense uh, into the turnbuckle. Um, throws Volkov into the turnbuckle. He catches Kern with a skull splitting lariat. And now Kern will roll on level three defense. He is down. Can Volkov capitalize here? No, only a shoulder tackle on Steve Kern. Hurts too. Does he have the same... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Down three, Volkov rolls on level two. There's the big Russian bear hug on Steve Kern. Only a hurt two. Volkov uh, with a choice B. And uh, he is going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Kern goes into the buckle, uh, crushed by a big kick. Volkov going to tag out to Zukov, uh, who is going to also throw Kern into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. He's going to roll on level two offense. Wild forearms two. Uh, Steve Kern gets out of the way. And he's going to reverse it, but he's going to try a kick to the stomach. Uh, Just can't do it because Boris Zukov hits the double team in corner. Volkov now the legal man. Steve Kern rolling on level three. Hurt to Volkov uh, with a choice F. And his power is a zero. So he's going to go for this. He needs a seven or less to make it work. Eight doesn't do it. Steve Kern reverses it here. Double hamstring pull. Oh no. Three add one. Stan Lane now the legal man. Volkov in trouble. He is going to roll out of the ring and try and he's going to crawl helplessly back in. Stan Lane. There it is. The double DDT. Uh, So Kern is now the legal man. They have no more um, uh, no more pin saves left and this is a plus two move. The target is eight. The roll is an eight and with the double ddt ladies and gentlemen your winner uh your winners the fabulous ones uh let me come back over here enter fall information so that was uh steve kern covering nikolai volkov with a double ddt and volkov was up to four there was nothing there. There was nothing there. I don't think Zukov. Yeah. So two star match. Two star match. It's actually a one star match, but I'm going to give it two stars. So there you go. Big win by the fabulous ones as we move on to our next match. And this was a match uh, you all voted on. Prince, you voted on these two wrestlers. Uh, Princess Victoria versus ivory aka tina moretti we will roll for initiative we will ring the bell and uh it looks like tina moretti is going to start things off here with a scoop slam against princess victoria but she backs out of it rolls on level two comes back with some tomahawk chops look at this her two great reversal here by princess victoria forearm smash two on tina moretti she is down princess victoria with the fi- flying double chop down three holy smokes here a body slam on tina moretti and she is hurt uh wrenching toe hold 
her too. Princess Victoria continuing her assault with a forearm smash. Two, Tina Moretti reversing it on level one. Snapmare one. Uh, so now uh, Tina Moretti back in control. Dazed one, scoop slam two on Princess Victoria. She reverses it on level two. Here she comes. She's coming back. Locks back in that wrenching toe hold. Hurt two, Princess Victoria uh, throws Tina Moretti into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. There's the wrenching toe hold again. She loves that move. And Tina Moretti saw it come and gets out of it. Uh, hits a scoop slam on Princess Victoria. Princess Victoria reversing it on level two. Forearm smash two. Hurt two. Princess Victoria with some tomahawk chops. And down three. And Tina Moretti is going to roll out of the ring. Crawl helplessly back in as Princess Victoria hits a body slam. And uh, only a hurt two. Wow. Princess Victoria really... Pulling out all the stops here. Tina Moretti going back into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Uh, forearm smash two on Tina Moretti. Tina Moretti reversing it on level two. Flapjack on Princess Victoria. And Princess Victoria is going to roll out of the ring. Uh, the referee comes out, warns Ivory to stop. And so Ivory will roll her disqualification. She is not disqualified. Smashes Princess Victoria with the chair. Throws her back in. Hits the jumping face buster. The target five. The roll a six. So Princess Victoria able to escape. Uh, and now uh, Tina's going to try a death jump. Uh, the opponent climbs the top. Victoria recovers, throws her off the top, and will now roll on level three offense and hit a body slam on Tina Moretti and rolling her pin now. The target three, the roll of two. There you go. Um, and Princess Victoria wins the match with a body slam. <laughs> There you go. Enter full information for this match. Princess Victoria beats Tina Moretti with a simple body slam, but what a body slam it was. And uh, let's see. She was at one fatigue. She was at one eh, two-star match. We'll say that's a two-star match. Big win for Princess Victoria there. Uh, let me check. The chat, uh, Jason uh, BDSI says, fun fact, Boris Zukov used to wrestle as Private Jim Nelson in Sergeant Slaughter's Cobra Corp in Mid-Atlantic. He teamed with Don Kernodal and won the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles. Yeah, I wonder if now that we have Don Kernodal, if we will get a uh, Private Jim Nelson uh, card. That will be interesting to see. Well, here is the final fans' choice match, a match you voted on. Uh, or two wrestlers you voted on that you wanted to see wrestle. And speaking of Don Kernodal, there he is. He'll be taking on Dan Spivey in a, a, a matchup of the latest Tragos Thez Hall of Fame set. Um, and so let's roll some initiative. Let's ring that bell. And it looks like Dan Spivey is going to start things off here with some forearm smashes. Smatches. Uh, hurts too. Dan Spivey gut wrench suplex. Not playing around here, and we're rolling the pin already. The target is three. The roll is six. One fatigue for Kernodal, and there's a sidewalk slam on Don Kernodal, and he is down. He's going to roll out of the ring, and he crawls helplessly back in as Spivey rolls on level three and hits him with a big boot to the face. Hurt two. Dan Spivey continuing, uh, gonna roll up, not gonna throw him into the turnbuckle, uh, gonna throw him into the ropes, though, Don Kernodal goes into the ropes, gets him position back body drop, Kernodal hits him with a pile driver, and will roll on level three offense, death jump, climbing up to the top, leaping off, and big flying clothesline, and will roll on level three offense, throws Dan Spivey out of the ring, and he crawls helplessly back in now, and there it is, a top rope clothesline, the target is three. The roll is a seven. One fatigue for Dan Spivey. And there is a fist drop. Hurt two. And uh, Don Kernodal, uh Let's see what this says in a singles match. Uh, oh, so it's only a tag move. So he's got to re-roll on level two. Nope, can't use that move. Nope, can't use that move. Into the ropes. Into the ropes goes Dan Spivey and drops down. He's going to go into the ropes again. 
and drops down, and we're again going to go into the ropes. And the opponent uses one of his special moves. It's up to you which one. He goes in for the kill. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Fist drop two on Dan Spivey. Hurt two. Don Kernodal. Um, fireman's carry. Choice B. Standing drop kick or into the turnbuckle. Uh, he's going to go into the turnbuckle. Into the turnbuckle. Uh, and it's a reversal. Kernodal goes into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Spivey now back in control. Hits a tilt-a-whirl slam on Don Kernodal. Don Kernodal is down. Can Dan Spivey hit something big here? Well, he's going to hit a choice G. So that's, he's going to go for the death jump. Wait, what is his power? Ooh, he's got either a C... He's going to go for the death jump. He's going to go for the death jump. Uh, climbs to the top. Big clothesline from the top. He's going to roll on level three offense. Uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up instead. A tilt to world slam three on Don Kernodal. Hurt two. And uh, neck breaker two. A power move. He's got the power. So that'll be a level two defense. And Don Kernodal will be able to reverse it there. And hits a boot to the min section. An agility move, but he's got it. Uh, Don Kernodal hits a fireman's carry. Choice B. Uh, going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Spivey goes into the turnbuckle. Crushed by big kick. Kernodal rolls on level two. Again, choice B. And again, going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Uh, the opponent tries to run in clothesline, but you move and he crashes into the turnbuckle. Kernodal's rolling his pin. The target is four. The roll is a four. And on a missed turnbuckle charge, Danny Spivey is able to pick up the win. In an exciting match. Let's see here. Uh, so he's at two fatigue. He is at one. Uh, another two-star match. Not the greatest match ever. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. Uh, and this should be crazy. This is a first blood match. Spinning off of our, uh, our last card, this is a first blood match. The Road Warriors uh, versus... Uh, Rose and Summers, and we've got, of course, Paul Ellering. We have a sensational Sherry. Now, this is a first blood match. Uh, I have my first blood match rules here on the old um, ringside companion. So, Texas death match rules, meaning no disqualifications, no things. When a wrestler rolls his pin, add one to the pin rating and continue the match. A wrestler loses when his pin rating reaches. Eight. So we could be here for a while, or we could not. This could be over. Uh, I mean, uh, Summers already has a four. He's halfway there. And uh, uh, Buddy Rose is at a three. So, um, I mean, definitely uh, the Road Warriors have um, have the advantage here. But uh, first blood match, uh, first person to bleed, and uh, it's not something where both tag team partners have to bleed. It's just going to be the very first person to bleed will lose. Um, so we are going to say Doug Summers is going to start with Hawk. We will roll for initiative. We will ring your bell. This is the main event. Doug Summers gets the initiative and hits some chops to the chest on Hawk. Hawk is going to tag out. He is able to do it. Animal comes in on level one. Choice A, uh, going to throw him into the ropes. Into the ropes goes Doug Summers, uses a big specialty move, goes in for the kill, rolls on level three offense. Uh, there is the Camel Clutch, Choice G. And what is his power as a plus one? Going to go for that. Needs a nine or less to make it happen, too. He certainly does happen there. Hurt, too. Animal in control now. Uh, going to throw Doug Summers into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two, a scoop slam on Doug Summers. Doug Summers going to try and tag out to Buddy Rose here. Not able to do it. Animal rolls on level two. There's a flying shoulder ram on Doug Summers. Hurt two. Animal uh, with a scoop slam two on Doug Summers. Hurt two. Animal with the flying shoulder ram again on Doug Summers. And he is going to roll his pin. Um, so they're going to hold on to their, their, well, their pin saves don't really matter. But he's going to get one fatigue there. So he is already at a five. 
Um, and Animal is going to roll on level three. And again, choice G. And again, going to go for the death jump on Doug Summers. Uh, the opponent blasts you with the flying clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Animal, there's the doomsday device. Holy cow. So there is another fatigue token for Doug Summers. He is now up to a six. Hawk is now the legal man in the ring. Hawk, oh, they hit the doomsday device again. Holy moly. I'm realizing pin saves are not going to matter here because you always add one to a pin save. So there you go. One more fatigue token here, and Doug Summers is is out. He is gone. He is gone. Uh, so Animal, now the legal man in the ring, rolling on level three. Sure, he's going to toss Doug Summers out of the ring. Uh, there's no disqualifications here. Doug Summers, uh, this, uh, Sh Sherry handed him some sort of powder, threw it in Animal's eyes. He's going to roll on level three offense. He hits the choice G. He's going to go for the death jump. And Animal's struggling around. Uh, the opponent comes off the top of the perfect crossbody. But Animal counters with a specialty move. That is it. That is another fatigue token. Now at four. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Summers, uh, even with dirty underhanded tactics, uh, no match for the Road Warriors. And there you go. That is it. I'm, uh, what a match. What a match. Um, so Animal gets Doug Summers there. Uh, roll through a cross body pin. Uh, so let's see. That's one star, two star. We'll say it's a three star match to end the, end the evening on. A three star match. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let me close all this. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, before we go, I always like to do this. Let's let's take a look at um, our standings and see what our standings are. And uh, no surprise that the um, that the Road Warriors beat the match there. I just love after I wrestle a couple matches to take a look at the top. Uh, you know, uh, rankings and see how they are. Uh, Jackie Fargo still at the top. He's the current champion. He's got his next defense against Don Leo Jonathan coming up. Uh, this was card. What card was this? 82. So 85. He will defend against Don Leo Jonathan. And then uh, Sergeant Slaughter has whoever comes out of that match as the winner. But uh, and then let's take a look at the tag standings here before we call it a night um da, 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 da. come on cotg online let's load it up load it up the road warriors at the top they are not the current champs though the current champs are the briscoe brothers but maybe after their win tonight the road warriors are saying like hey we want a match um, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that is going to be it for the evening. I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, there are your champions. Uh, thanks to everybody who voted in the um, Fans' Choice stuff. Always appreciate that. Make sure you are subscribed. Uh, I have a new video coming out Friday. I forget what it's about, um, uh, but uh, and then I have videos already set for Monday and Friday of next week. Uh, so trying to get onto a regular schedule here. Um, uh, so new videos Monday, Friday, live stream throughout the week. Uh, maybe the next live stream will be Sunday night. Depends. I have two big shows um, that I'm performing in Friday and Saturday, so we'll see how I'm doing on Sunday. Um, but we'll be back very, very soon with another live stream. Um, and we've got some Champions of the Galaxy live play. It's pre-recorded. It won't be live. Um, but some uh, actual tabletop play coming soon. Thank you all for watching. Uh, big thanks to Jason PDSI, Michael Brada, Mark Ferguson. Uh, who else was here? Derek Bauman. And everybody else who was watching. Uh, really, really appreciate it. I hope you are doing well. Have a great week. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.